Hi, Kathleen McKinnon here, coming to you from Harmony Schoolhouse. I wanted to have an opportunity to pick up where we left off last Tuesday night when we were talking about creativity and well-being. Right when my camera fell apart, we were going to look at meditative drawing, and that's where I'd like to pick up. I'd like for you to have this little video so that you can go back and actually see how the drawings are done and how we match the drawing to our breath so that we can have that meditative mindfulness Remember we talked about the um, combination and the balance of attention and awareness, and we're going to be doing that through our drawing. Remember what, what Robin was saying when she was sharing with us how she really felt she connected to this activity, not only because of her breathing and the drawing, but the way her hand and her pencil felt on the paper. So it's a combination of our awareness, our attention, our breathing, and our body. So here we go. So remember we started out by looking at our sheet of paper and we folded it into four parts. And we're going to do a different mindfulness practice in each one of the four areas of the paper. So we'll start up here in the top left hand corner. And what we're doing is we are actually going to practice drawing our breath. So we're just going to put a dot on the left hand side of this square and then straight across from that on the right hand side of the square. Now when we concentrate on our breathing, our inhales are to the count of four. We pause at the top of the inhale and hold our breath. Then we exhale to the count of four, and we pause at the exhale and hold our breath. Then we continue breathing to the counts of four. Remember your pencil follows your breath. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna inhale through our nose, pause for the curve, exhale out our mouth, pause for the curve, inhale, pause for the curve, exhale, pause, inhale, So now when we look at our drawing, we can see, or at least I can see from my inhales, that my, in, my inhales were not as even, my exhales were more even. So what we're going to do on the next one, this was the one where we're doing the square um, spirals. So the first thing we're gonna do in our square is we're going to draw a square within our square and then we're going to divide this into fourths. Okay, so the difference between this mindfulness drawing and the one where we were doing one line per breath is we want the lines that we draw to coincide with our inhales and our exhales, just like we did over here with this one. However, it may require, excuse me, require more than one line for each inhale and for each exhale. So don't try to match it up your breath inhaling and exhaling with the individual lines because you may, you may find yourself hyperventilating because you're breathing too fast because your lines go faster than your breaths. So you want to figure out what works best for you. For me, I can usually do three lines to a breath. So that's three lines to an inhale and three lines to an exhale. So you're gonna have to figure your breath for your rate, what works best for you. So we're gonna start in this top corner and with each line that you draw, you come in to the square a little bit further each time and you continue to move around the square coming in a little further with each line and as you do this you'll see 
that your square begins to turn. It begins to spiral. The closer your lines are together, the more spiral you'll get in your drawing. And notice in this example, I am going counterclockwise with my spiral. Now I'm just showing you how to draw the spiral right now and I have not added my breath. So you may want to practice with the drawing of the spirals before you connect your breath. And as you can see, the square is beginning to turn. The more close your lines are to one another, the more detail you'll, you're going to get, intricacy I should say, in your spiral. So I just continue around moving my pin inward on each square until finally my square disappears. So I have my first spiral. So remember this time we went counterclockwise. So in this square we're going to go clockwise. So this time I'm going to do another spiral that, so you can watch the building of the spiral before I add my breath. So I'm starting in the lower corner again, but this time I'm going clockwise. Again, as the pencil moves, it just moves in slightly to the next square. This in of, of itself is very mindful because we are paying attention to the line we're drawing and we are aware of the square we're, we are working within. We're aware and focusing on how the pencil moves as we build the spiral. So even without your breath, this is very mindful because we have that balance of attention and awareness. Okay, so now we're going to come down here. Remember this one was counterclockwise, so this square here will be clockwise. This time I'm going to show you how to add your breath. So remember I said my breath um, is usually about three lines. We'll see how that works out. I may have to adjust it, but let's see how it works. So remember this was counterclockwise, so I'm going to go clockwise here. I'm going to inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale. So here I was mindful and had attention not only to the pencil and the awareness of where the lines were going, I teamed that with my inhaling and exhaling. So we'll do it again on this square, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so you can see it's much more difficult to team your breath with your pencil. I, I had a hard time of getting my attention to focus on making these lines thinner. I had so much going on in my mind with the drawing as well as with the breathing. So you may want to practice just with the meditative aspect or the mindfulness aspect of awareness and attention on the lines only until you learn the design before you add your pen to this. Our next mindfulness practice is what I like to call the bridge. And for the bridge, all we're going to do is 
um, make a point on one side of the paper and a point on the other side of the paper. They don't need to line up. And we're going to connect these two dots with a curved line. Now that you have your curved line, we're going to put a dot equal distance apart on the line. So we're just marking our spaces on our line, trying to keep them as equal distance as we can. It doesn't always work out. And now those are our anchor spots for the line. We're going to draw curved lines that touch each one of those anchor dots. Starting here, I curve to this here. And you're just making bridges between the dots. This again is one of the mindfulness drawings that you'll want to do before you connect your breath just so you get the hang of the drawing. After you've gone one way, turn around and come the other way. Remember each time your attention for your pencil tip is to hit that dot. Your awareness is where the dot is in a relationship to the rest of the bridges. Now we've made it twice, so we're gonna go again, again another bridge Go back to the dot. So it looks pretty much as you move along like you're building a string of beads. This is my go-to mindfulness drawing. I do this one most of the time. I find it very relaxing, more so than the spiraling squares. And I think that's because the bridges are curved and that's a more organic shape. Now, as you get practiced, remember all of this requires practice. It's an ability that we can all improve on. Once you get practiced with the actual stringing of the beads or building of the bridges with your awareness and your attention, that's when you can start attaching your breath. So you have an inhale, pause, exhale, pause, inhale, exhale, and we just continue with the bridges matching your attention and your awareness to the paper, the pencil, and your breath. And we just keep going around and around and you'll see that you start to build what looks like this string of beads. I'm going to show you a final piece and I'm sorry, the focus on my camera can't figure out what's happening so it kind of breathes in and out trying to focus because it is such an interesting, um, interesting drawing. So here's what a final one looks like. You can see how it's kind of breathing. It doesn't really know what to focus on. But when you finish, to me, these look, it changes from looking like, uh, maybe it'll, I can get it hooked to my hand and stop, probably not. But and it, it looks more like, like organically in the bottom of the ocean with stacks and stacks of clamshells. This is what this reminds me of. But it's the same as just taking and continuing this line of beads and matching your breath to it. Our final mindfulness drawing is using circles. I find this one the most challenging in keeping my attention and awareness and my breath um, connected to one another. But before you start, let's talk about your circles. You want to make sure that your circles close and that they close end to end. We don't want to do circles like this or even like that where they don't close. So this is the first thing. Let's make sure our circles close end to end. The idea is that you place your circles anywhere on the page and your mindfulness and your awareness 
is where the circle starts and ends is your attention. Your awareness are where those circles end up on different parts of the page. So you're just drawing circles, making sure that they close end to end as you draw them. Size doesn't matter. Placement doesn't matter. You're just concentrating on the circles closing end to end and where you place them. Now again, if you want to add mindfulness to this, I mean more mindfulness by adding your breathing to your attention and your awareness, you want to just determine once again how many circles you can draw with an inhale, pausing, and your exhaling. So we've covered four different types of mindfulness drawings. We have our breathing, we have our square spirals, we talked about the bridges, and we have our circles. I hope that you found this exercise to be very calming and very peaceful for you. Remember, it's about your awareness and your attention, it's about your breath, and it's about the process, not the product. So thank you again very much for joining me last Tuesday night for our conversation. And I hope that you get a lot of wonderful relaxation and great well-being from your mindfulness and creative practice. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.